For the fourth time in the past six years, ETSU's men's track and field program earned gold at the Atlantic Sun Indoor Championships held here last weekend. Head coach Dave Walker once again hoisted the Coach of the Year award on the men's side, which he's done in almost half of his 48 years with the program. He says each new championship just gets that much sweeter. Every new one is better than the old one, and uh, it it holds true on this one. It was a team effort. You know, when you spread it out like that, it's, it's tough for some other team to beat us. Starting on Friday, Jared Burton took home the goal in the shot put, setting a lifetime best and meet record of 57 feet, three and three quarters inches. He added a second place showing in Saturday's weight throw, landing a record 63 feet, 10 and a quarter down range until Belmont's Joe Fry out heaved him by just a half inch. But Burton's numbers still earned him the most outstanding field performer award when it was all over. Elsewhere in the field, three more bucks in the top eight in the weight throw, Pat Beery, Matthew Allison, and younger brother Justin Burton. Michael Lockhart took third in the long jump on Friday. Ryan Beaver finished second in Saturday's triple jump. And after a strong start in the heptathlon on Friday, the Frenchman Jesse Aliaga Jacob set a meet record with 4,750 points in first place. Highlighting the events on the track, Mike James leapt over the competition in the 60-meter hurdles with a championship time of 8.02, also a meet record, and in a surprise upset of Kennesaw State's Johnny Catalano. Desmond Pierce clocked in at 154.89. That's a personal best for him as he took home gold in the 800. Two top three finishes for ETSU in the 400, a third for Ben Rono in the 5,000, and an exciting finish in the 4x400 as the Bucks stood on the podium in third, coming in at 322.29 behind Upstate and Kennesaw. On the women's side, it was Jacksonville's meet as the likes of women's overall and field MVP Charlene Charles, shot put champ Ranisha Hall, and a 4x400 team who broke a two-year-old meet record held previously by ETSU, ran away with the title, and the Dolphins' share of the awards, including Coach of the Year for Ron Grigg and track MVP Joan Pierre. Imani Harrison for ETSU fell three hundredths of a second short of JU's Louise Kiernan in the 60 with a lifetime best 762. Also, ETSU placed 2-3 in the women's triple jump while Jasmine Ingram got into the top three in both the 200 individually and alongside her teammates in the 4x400. So what's next after conference? Walker says ETSU's best will go to the Virginia Tech last chance qualifier on March 5th with a chance at the NCAA Nationals. At the David E. Walker track, I'm John Stevens.